Hey, what's up guys, Dopesunner930 here, back again, and in my last uh, flashing tutorial video, I showed you guys how to get the DVD key and flash all Hitachi fat drives um, below the 78 and 79 uh, firmware revision. Uh, so right here is the next video for you guys. Um, it says, I don't know if you can see it, how clearly, but right there it says 79, this is the uh, 79 model. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the DVD key and flash Hitachi 78 as well as 79. Um, so you're going to need what we needed in the last video. You're going to need your uh, USB Pro, <clears throat> as well as the CK3i like we've been using in all the videos. But for 79s, you're going to need this it's the Hitachi 79 unlock audio disc um, or it's an audio track actually um, I will put the link in the description on where you can download it and you need to burn it the file using image burn uh, to a CDR uh, it's very simple to do uh, for the 78s you don't need this this is only for the Hitachi 79s like this one so when I go along in the video I'm gonna tell you guys like okay this is for 78 and 79 and then I'm going to tell you if you have a 78 then to skip this step because it doesn't apply. And then you'll continue from you know where I, where I get back into it. Okay, so for starters, like we always do, you're going to go ahead and hook up the SATA cable from the USB Pro. As well as the uh, CK3i to the back of the drive. If it wants to fit. There we go. <clears throat> CK3i. All right, and then go ahead and let me show you. go ahead and power it on, and then I'll go ahead and hop over to the computer, and we'll take care of everything else from there. All right, so now that we're in Jungle Flasher, guys, just like before, we're gonna head over to the Hitachi tab, and we are going to click the refresh button. As you can see, it says drive is a Hitachi 78 or 79, and right here it gives you in more detail that it is a 79 model. Or rev. So just like on the other Hitachi drives, we're going to start off doing the same thing and click send mode B. Go ahead and eject the drive and power off the drive. Click OK. You see the dots loading in the bottom. Click it back on. <clears throat> mode B is done. All right. And once again, just like on the other one, my G drive is going to be the Hitachi. Okay, so if you're using a 78, um, if, you, if your rev is a 78, then completely ignore this next step. Um, this is only for 79 drives. You don't have to do this. And uh, I will continue when I'm done doing what I have to do to the 79s, and you'll just continue if you're, if you're using a 78. So if you have a 79 rev drive, you're going to want to click the eject button twice on the uh, CK3i. Go ahead and pop your Hitachi 79 unlock disc inside and double click to close. And you want to wait until you can hear the disc spinning inside of the uh, Hitachi tray, the 79 unlock disc. Once you hear it, you can go ahead and click 79 unlock. And just like that, that quick, it said playing it, pausing it, ejecting it, and it worked. So you are now ready to move on. And if you had a 78 drive, this is where you'll continue. <clears throat> So you want to make sure 78 or 79 is selected. You want to make sure that RAM upload is the one that's checked. And you want to make sure that whatever drive it says your Hitachi is, is selected up here. Mine was G, so I'll select G. And again, if you don't see it, try clicking refresh and uh, checking again. And then just like the other one, dump drive. Go ahead and click read to source. All right, save it as, uh, this one's a Hitachi 79, so I'll save it as that. And then if you want to get your DVD key for the X360 dock, now that we're here, just click Save Drive Key like always. And if you want to flash it, now it's going to be the exact same thing. Head over to the Tachi tab, Flash LT Firmware, Flash. Oh, sorry, the drive is actually not uh, stock, so I have to restore it to stocks. So let me go ahead and... Restore firmware to its stock first. Okay. So now it's back at stock. 
now you could go ahead and flash it but you won't have a problem with that if your drive's already stock it's just because mine wasn't wasn't stock all right and there you go that's how you uh flash either back to stock or flash um, the LT from stock so I showed you how to do both right now so yeah that's about it guys um, I guess not too much more difficult the 78s really aren't difficult at all you're pretty much going to be doing the same thing as the lower um, rev Hitachi drives the only difference is that versus uh, not using mode select you're going to use RAM upload instead and for 79s all you got to do is insert in that audio audio disc which is also very as you saw it was very quick and very easy to do so I can um, I'll put a link for you guys on how to get the the audio CD in the description so look for that but I think I'll go ahead and end the video guys um, that was it very simple very easy to do and hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial thanks as always for watching and if you like please subscribe alright I'm out